You that just got so for that. Cute. Mm -hmm. I looked at, you know, I've seen pictures over time, you know, going back through old photo albums of me on my first day of school. Yeah. And it was like, I mean, the, just the hairstyles are things that have oh, totally gone out of style. Yeah. You know, you had like a big, huge ponytail, like right on the top of your head. Yeah. Like spouts coming out either way. And just sometimes you're like, what was I thinking? Because I know yeah. after a while I let my mom, I said, no, mom, you're not doing my hair. I'm doing it. <laughs> and it's kind of like, ooh, should let mom keep doing my hair. Yeah, maybe. All so right. Fun. Well, yeah, you always wanted to like dress yourself up in mm -hmm. the outfit and I love watching or I love the pictures on social media like my daughter chose to wear the superwoman costume to right. her first day of school. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good for them though. Shows personality. I remember yeah. I probably spent days picking out the first day oh, of school yeah. outfit. So uh, a lot of nerves, a lot of excitement. So hopefully uh, kids are out this morning or getting close to it yeah. and uh, should be a good first day of school for those going back today. If you're in West Ada, Nampa, some of their districts, today's the last day of summer. So whichever way you slice it, it's uh, going to be hot, but maybe you can enjoy a jump in the pool afterwards to celebrate the first day of school or maybe just spend that last day of summer uh, vacation out there in the pool this afternoon. Sunrise, 6.58 this morning, so we're losing some daylight as we head toward the end of August, if you can believe it or not. Uh, sunset tonight at 8.37, so again, if you are gonna be driving out there early this morning, know a lot of kids gonna be out there catching the bus, so uh, watch for them, especially since it will be a little bit dark a little bit later this morning. A hot first day of school, then a cool down coming our way midweek, along with some extra cloud cover. A toasty weekend coming up, though, so if you are still looking to get in some of those uh, summer bucket list items, it's not too late. You just have to pack the fun into those weekends. 64 degrees right now though out at the airport 10 mile an hour winds humidity at 38 percent starting to see hints of daylight out there uh, but again looking a little bit darker a little bit later 54 out in Nampa Caldwell good morning to you 53 Mountain Home at 55 and McCall 47 degrees so we have some 50s sprawled out in there still probably a good idea possibly send the kids with a light jacket early on this morning but shorts t-shirts tank tops that's the way to go as you get into the afternoon not much going on on the satellite radar what you see is what you get a nice sunny start to the day some shower activity streaming through to the south of us that the area of low pressure hanging out down there will eventually start to mix in with our ridge of high pressure. We're going to get some changes coming our way as we get into the middle part of the week. So we'll time it out for you here over the next 48 hours today getting into the six seven o'clock hour. Things looking good highs in the mid 90s for us here. Uh, nothing but sunshine could see a few cloud buildups late in the day, but I think more of the clouds start to push in from the south and the southeast by tomorrow headed into the lunch hour. Uh, for us, our temps will be in the low to mid 80s around noon, similar to today, starting to see some of those cloud buildups and the shower activity will start to ramp up, I would say, mainly in our surrounding mountains, but also possibly off to the south and west of the Treasure Valley. Southeast Oregon could also be a trouble spot, but we're going to be watching for isolated to scattered showers and some thunderstorms. Could get some gusty winds packed in there with those thunderstorms as well. Otherwise, high temperatures will be back up into the upper 80s to low 90s tomorrow afternoon. I think we're going to miss out on the bulk of it, but we will get some additional cloud cover, though, uh, hopefully staying shower and thunderstorm free. Those areas that we were talking about, though, are under a fire weather watch tomorrow afternoon through late at night. These areas kind of highlighted in this yellowy up tan color there, isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of those storms could pack again gusty winds, possibly some heavy pockets of rain as well. So hope is that they won't be dry lightning storms. We don't like to see those at this point in the season. Otherwise doing pretty good today. 95, lots of sunshine, toasty temperatures out there this afternoon. Still feels a lot like summer, even though we technically are back to school. Uh, light winds out there this afternoon. Highs mid 90s, 97 in Mountain Home, 96 in Caldwell, upper 80s. McCall, a beautiful Tuesday up there, 88 degrees mostly sunny skies lows in the 50s and 60s for most spots tonight could be a little cooler up in the mountains your seven day forecast looking pretty good more clouds tomorrow with a high of 92 cooling off even more for Thursday and I think that cold front swings through but then we dry out again across the state by Friday we get mid 90s back in here early next wow. week so still uh, plenty of sunshine and lots of 90s back on that board even though we're talking about the transition from August towards September got it all right thanks yeah. Denny let's go to Ron O'Brien now he's covering the